Alrighty, let's play this in full here. Cool. I think we could tweak this a bit more. I think this is definitely much better. The main reactions that I had. Just watch out when you have moments like this, the sticky frame because there's so much momentum going forward this way. And then you have this big swing forward is all very cool. But then there's this pause in the body. I feel like you want to you want to keep going. So it's here here on the next frame. It will be still forward and then into this. It will still register as a slowdown, but right now it's this weird hiccup pause with this pop there. And then careful with this out. It's such a a jump this way that when you go from here, now we're suddenly going this way and then it's kind of the same angle with a very horizontal move. So be careful that. You have your legs go up. There's just something that seems just, just a bit abrupt to me visually. Where I like this, this jump out, but then suddenly here, the head height is the same. And you could have an explosion and go into this. But then again, we're back to that troublesome thing where this would almost have to be over. So you have more room to fly over there and hang on to this. It's just this in real time. It's in real time feels like a sticky frame here. And too fast and too high and we're suddenly stunting this this arc yeah i'm not sure how destructive this is i mean you could almost mm, no because you come back here i was going to say you can just take this structure this structure move it to the left and him globally with the cheat with it so that this whole thing happens around here and it's just over there that way you don't have to change all of this but there's there's still the ending here which means that that big jump he would have to to have an arc like this would have an arc over there because it the block would be here i hate giving like crazy destructive notes and i mean you know you know the scene better to see what you can make out of this this is just my visual um reaction to this just a sticky frame which is all fixable so that just feels fast and almost like we're abrupting, we're stopping this abruptly because we need more room and, and distance. I like this. You can almost, to me, hold this longer. Just this section through here, be even slower. So it's just a bit more of a pause through there. And I think as you, as you, snap into this i think what i would do is this and again there's so much momentum this way that after this maybe over three frames as it goes forward i will continue a bit more with the root so that basically this back arm does like an extra adjustment so the head is here body has is a bit higher you still got that leg and you know my horrible drawings don't do it justice here but you know so that you have this moment of Attaching to this with one more adjustment where the arm goes up because the body keeps going up as well. So there's a bit of a move up on the root. So it doesn't feel so sticky. Not that it's a shot breaker, but... No, you know, now that I keep watching it over and over, now of course I'm going, no, nah, it's fine. <laughs> I think it's fine. Man, first time I saw it, I thought, oh man, that's so sticky. I would do this up a little bit of adjustment and then clear this arm for a nice silhouette and then jump. And now that I'm watching this, it's fine because I see how you have a little bit of here. So it's not completely sticking. So I'm going to say, forget what I said. This is all cool. 
That's cool too. I like your last little hop there. You could exaggerate a bit more and have just before he goes a couple of frames, like maybe two frames. I don't know how fast you can push this in, but a little bit of a down dissipation and then up. I like this though, how he gets close to it. But what I would do is on this, at least one arm down. Because he pushes off here and it's like a, a full leg extension off. That's the source here. I would do that instead of just going right up. Even if it's just one arm, but just that. And then here. Yeah, the only thing is the ending. It's so snappy and locked that I would do maybe a bit slower through here where he then he's a bit more over. This might be too exaggerated. And then one leg up and then bam, stands at the end. A little bit of a sidestep. It's not just lock into this because then at the end we have some couple dead frames here. Uh, where nothing's moving. I'm scrubbing here and no one can see what I'm doing here. I'm scrubbing through here uh, where nothing's moving. So it feels like I would go from like up and step subjectively. It's really cool. I really like this ending here. Yeah, some keep alive. Maybe even if you stick to this, you can overshoot with his arms. A little bit of a settle there. Just a bit more life. The danger is the more I'm watching this, the more I'm getting used to everything. Although I still think that this is a bit poppy high short here. But now I'm completely used to this moment. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Cool rhythm. So to me, it's mostly this section. Forget what I said here, unless people in the comments feel like I don't have other comments um, obviously you know I'm not the end all be all this is all just one subjective opinion here and I would still add a little bit of keep alive there some cool adjustment you know even if it's something where he's not as straight and arms are a bit more bent where he goes up and it has that you know a bit more straighter bent arms and then and then that last pose is pushing um this really horrible drawing i still can draw that pushing the this out where you know the arms are out and it's it's much more of a a hero hero pose i can already see comments why can't you draw i know so it's not so straight but pushing yeah pushing that hero pose so it's almost getting up and kind of defaulty but a bit of a down and then bow, and then snap into a full hero pose but that's it. It's a really great update. And again, I love that ending. That little pause there. And then how he puts his legs down there. Super, super cool. Yeah, love that update. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.